All right, so what I've done is I've made a, a nail mold for a transparent piece I want to use on the rudder of my bald eagle here. So I want to make a piece that fits up top and gives the top force an air pole shape. This will also make it strong as opposed to all flippy and floppy the way it is right now. So I've made this mold here and this is simply a piece of, of a heat shrinkable tubing that's used to make battery packs, transparent in this case here. So what I need to do is uh, use a piece of scrap timber, stick it inside there. Once you've done that, you'll be able to put the piece you're trying to mold inside like this and uh, get it in position. And once it's in position, shrink it. I'll shrink the sides first. Once you've got the sides all nice and shrunk, then uh, don't shrink the top. Use the light in your room to make sure there's no wrinkles. That looks good to me already. And that is how you make a transparent piece that uh, can keep your transparent fin from looking terrible when you use something non-transparent at the very top. Thanks, Trey. So there's the finished result. Transparent rudder. It's solid. It's thin. The plastic is thin. And the reason it's strong is because it's been bent in an aerodynamic shape. So that curvature gives it a monocoque construction, making it strong. And it should pretty much disappear, I would like to think, as I'm flying it. And uh, therefore not spoiling the lines of, uh, of a bald eagle. Yeah, so we'll see how well this does here. I've test flown it already without the transparent rudder, using FanFold to uh, provide a guideline for how big this transparent rudder ought to be. So that should do it.